hand of the king was the second most powerful man in the Seven Kingdoms. He spoke with the king's voice, commanded the king's armies, drafted the king's laws. At times he even sat upon the Iron Throne to dispense the king's justice. When the king was absent or sick or otherwise indisposed, Robert was offering him a responsibility as large as the realm itself. It was the last thing in the world he wanted. The thoughts of Eddard Stark, A Game of Thrones, Eddard I. The Hand of the King is arguably the most important role in the Seven Kingdoms. Sure, the king is the power behind the hand. They serve at the king's pleasure. But in the day-to-day -day running of the realm, the hand is the true power. The thing is, the promise of power and influence attracts men to it like moths to a flame. And not all of these men are the best of choices, with some having ill intentions. Even the well-meaning good men will often find themselves in impossible positions, having to complete less than honourable tasks. The question I want to look at in this video is, is the role of Hand of the King all it's cracked up to be? Yes, you receive influence and power, but when you take a look at the long list of men who have served as Hand, you start to see a common thread of them dying in office, not always of natural causes, more often than not under suspicion. Even men who did not die in the role often found themselves at the wrong end of the king's favour, losing much if not all of the power and influence they had gained. In some cases, their entire house becoming extinct or destitute, stripped of lands and titles. Thus, I put forward the hand of the king is the most dangerous job in the Seven Kingdoms. In this video, we will take a look at each hand of the king, delving in to the circumstances of their fate before concluding just how dangerous the role is and what your average life expectancy in the role could be. So, is the role of Hand of the King the most dangerous job in the Seven Kingdoms? While the role of Hand was created by Aegon the Conqueror after the conquest, in reality, the title is really just a fancy way of calling someone your chief advisor or right-hand man. So while the role in its current form has only existed for 300 years, it's very clear that before the conquest, the kings of the Seven Kingdoms most certainly had men in similar roles, acting as chief advisors, albeit with very different titles. But for the sake of this video, we will only be looking at the 48 men who officially served as Hand of the King to House Targaryen and later Baratheon. Therefore, unofficial hands, men who served so-called pretender kings or usurpers will be a subject for another time. The very first Hand of the King was the bastard half-brother and best friend of Aegon the Conqueror, Oris Baratheon, who was already acting as a close advisor to Aegon, even before the conquest itself. When Aegon named him Hand, he proclaimed Oris to be my shield, my stalwart, my strong right hand. This is believed to be where the name of the Hand of the King comes from. Oris, by all accounts, was a good hand, extremely loyal to his brother. He would play a key role during the conquest, especially after his victory at the Last Storm, which saw him raised to Lord of the Stormlands. He was also heavily involved in the First Dornish War, where he was captured and held prisoner for near on a year. When his freedom was negotiated by King Aegon, it came with a sting in the tail. Oris's sword hand had been cut off to ensure he would never raise arms against Dawn again. Thus, Oris claiming that the king's hand needed a hand, stepped down from the role. Oris was hand from 1 AC to 7 AC, and while he did not die in the role, he did suffer serious injuries during his service, with him dying years later in 37 AC during the infamous vulture hunt, where he took revenge against the Dornish. The king's hand should have a hand. I will not have men speaking of the king's stump. Oris Baratheon to Aegon I Targaryen, from fire and blood, three heads had the dragon. Oris would be succeeded by Lord Edmund Tully, who had been vital in securing the Riverlands for Aegon during the conquest, being one of the first major lords of the Riverlands to bend the knee. With Edmund came the Riverlands, who were all too keen to see the end of Harren the Black. His time as Hand would be uneventful for the most part, with him serving for only two years between 7 AC and 9 AC when he resigned his post to return home to Riverrun after the death of his wife in childbirth, wishing to spend time caring for his children. He would be followed by Lord Alton Kaltegar between the years 9 AC and 17 AC. House Kaltegar were an old Valyrian family 
who had been sworn to House Targaryen since before the conquest. He died of natural causes in office, and was followed as hand by Osmond Strong, who served between 17 AC and 34 AC. He would spend much of his time in office improving King's Landing as it grew bigger and bigger from the small fishing village it had started as, and would also fight a short campaign in the Stepstones, rooting out pirates. Like his predecessor, Osmond Strong, who would die in office of old age in 34 AC, he would be replaced by Lord Alan Stokeworth, who served until 37 AC. Alan was the first Hand of the King to serve two kings after the death of Aegon the Conqueror in 37 AC and then the rise of his son King Aenys. It was Alan and Visenya Targaryen who King Aegon ordered to tear down the then Aegon Fort and replace it with the Red Keep in 35 AC and would be a key player in the early design and construction of the keep. Upon the coronation of Aegon's heir, King Aenys I Targaryen, rebellions rose throughout the Seven Kingdoms. The first of these challenges was an outlaw known as Harren the Red, who claimed to be the grandson of Harren the Black. Alan personally led the campaign against Red Harren, and successfully caught and cornered the outlaw king. Harren killed Alan, but was subsequently slain by Alan's squire. Thus, Alan died while serving in office. King Aenys then named his younger brother, Prince Maegor, later King Maegor, as Hand of the King, with him serving in the role between 37 and 39 AC, with Maegor seeming to be a competent Hand during this time, dealing with several crises during his brother's early reign. But Maegor would be stripped of his position and exiled from Westeros after taking a second wife, Alice Haraway, and refusing to set her aside to appease the faith whose influence over the king was great at this time, with the possibility of an uprising. Thus Maegor would be replaced by Septon Myrmeson, who served as hand between 39 and 41 AC. He was such a poor hand of the king, he is a common example of what makes a bad one. King Aenys later enraged the faith further in 41 AC, when he wed his daughter, Princess Rhaena, to his son and heir, Prince Aegon, and was denounced by the faith for it. Pious lords and the small folk who once loved Aenys turned against him for performing the incestuous marriage ceremony. Myrmeson was expelled from the faith as the High Septon sent out a decree to Septons across the realm condemning the marriage. Aenys took it upon himself to write to the High Septon personally, asking for Myrmeson to be restored to his status, explaining the history of sibling marriage in Old Valyria. But the High Septon's response was to declare the king a pretender and a tyrant. The faithful responded to the High Septon's denunciations less than a fortnight later, as Myrmeson was crossing King's Landing in his litter. A group of poor fellows came swarming from an alleyway and hacked the Septon to pieces with their axes. The faith militant uprising had thus begun and Aenys was forced to flee to Dragonstone, the office of hand remaining vacant for the rest of the king's reign. Aenys died soon after. Once Maegor the Cruel had returned from exile and usurped the throne from his nephew, Aegon the Uncrowned, the first hand who served him between 43 and 44 AC was his father-in-law via his second wife, Lucas Haraway, Lord of Harrenhal. But it is believed that in truth, Lucas had very little power with his daughter Alice, Maegor's second wife and the king's third wife Tiana, alongside his mother Dowager Queen Visenya, the true influence and power behind Maegor. While Maegor was focused on the completion of the construction of the Red Keep, Lucas was left with running the day-to-day -day realm. However, Lucas would have a bloody fate at the hands of the king in 44 AC, after Alice Haraway had a stillborn, monstrously deformed baby. Queen Tyena convinced Maegor that the boy had not been his seed, but the result of one of Alice's many apparent affairs, and that Lord Lucas himself had helped his daughter conceive a son for the king by sending men of proven fertility to his chamber. Tyena would provide the names of the men she had supposedly been sleeping with, with one man found with gold paid to him by Lord Haraway. The questioning and torture was done in secret and so swiftly the Haraways had no inkling of the king's suspicions until the king's guard was dispatched to seize the Haraways. Alice was taken and tortured to death while Lord Haraway's children, brothers and nephews at King's Landing were executed. Lucas himself was thrown from the roof of the Tower of the Hand by knights of the king's guard while he was inspecting the tower's construction. In the end, the whole of House Haraway was killed. Lucas Haraway, was replaced by Edwell Keltigar between 44 and 48 AC. King Maegor left Edwell to rule King's Landing along with Maegor's wife, Queen Tyena of the Tower, when Maegor himself left to embark on a new campaign against the Faith Militant Uprising in 45 AC. 
In 47 AC, Edwell suggested to Magor that the heirless king should take more than one wife, as so to increase his chances of producing an heir. Edwell suggested his two maiden daughters, Prunella and Prudence, who were 12 and 13 years of age. Although Magor eventually took Edwell's advice, he did not choose Edwell's daughters. Lord Caldegar resigned the office of hand in 48 AC, when even previously loyal lords of the realm were now turning against the king. He safely returned to Claw Isle. Later he would serve as Master of Coin for Rogar Baratheon and Dowager Queen Alyssa during the regency of King Jaehaerys I, but was later dismissed by Jaehaerys when he came of age. Six men would serve as Hand of the King to King Jaehaerys, and their fates would be a lot less bloody than those who came before. His first was Rogar Baratheon, who was Hand between 48 and 50 AC. He would also serve as Protector of the Realm and rule alongside Dowager Queen Alyssa Valarian until Jaehaerys came of age. Thus, Rogar held more power than any other Hand of the King to this point. However, the young King Jaehaerys, seeing this, did choose several key moments, such as his marriage to his sister Alisan, to remind the Hand and his mother that he was in fact the King. These events led to Rogar trying to depose the king in favour of Princess Arya Targaryen, resulting in Dowager Queen Alyssa Valarian, his own wife, removing him from office. They would later reconcile and go on to have children, with Rogar eventually being forgiven by Jaehaerys before dying of old age. When the Dowager Queen removed her husband as Hand of the King in 50 AC, she would name her brother Lord Daemon Valarian as Hand with Daemon serving in that role till 54 AC. When Jaehaerys then came of age, he kept Daemon as Hand, with him serving faithfully and according to many accounts, capably, until the death of Dowager Queen Alyssa in 54 AC during childbirth at Storm's End, wherein he resigned his post and returned to his seat on Driftmark. Daemon was followed by Miles Smallwood, who was Hand between 54 and 57 AC. Although undoubtedly well-intentioned and a leal and loyal man, Miles was dismissed as Hand of the King in 57 AC, as the Lord of Acorn Hall proved to be wholly unsuited for the office, a fact that even Miles had acknowledged himself. He would be followed by arguably one of the best hands Westeros ever saw, the close friend of the King, Septon Bath, who was Hand between the years 58 and 98 AC the longest serving hand at 40 years. He is seen by many as truly the king's right hand and a key part in what made Jaehaerys' reign so stable and prosperous. The tales of the deeds of Bath are too numerous for this video, but to say the working relationship and friendship between the hand and the king is unmatched is an understatement and shows the benefit of a hand and a king who can work together for the betterment of the realm. Bath is the benchmark all other hands are compared to, he would die in office an old man in 98 AC, with Jaehaerys stating he could never hope to replace a man such as Bath. The king now an old man himself, named Ryan Redwine, his Lord Commander of the Kingsguard as Hand of the King, the first man to hold both roles. He would be Hand between 99 and 100 AC. He is considered one of the worst Hands the Seven Kingdoms ever saw, and was replaced by the king's son and heir, Prince Balon Targaryen, less than a year after having been raised to the office. Balon Targaryen was technically the king's second son, and now heir after the death of his elder brother, Prince Aemon. Given the king's age at this time, Balon took on much of the responsibility of the day-to-day -day rule of the realm, but sadly in 101 AC, he died after complaining of a stitch in his belly, leaving the king bereft and the succession in chaos. So Otto Hightower, was named as Hand in Balon's place. He would serve as Hand twice, the first time between 101 and 109 AC. One of his first jobs as Hand was overseeing the Great Council of 101 to choose an heir for King Jaehaerys. After the death of Jaehaerys in 103 AC, he would remain as Hand for his heir, as chosen by the Great Council, his grandson, Viserys I Targaryen. After the death of Queen Emma Arryn in 105 AC, the king would marry his Hand's daughter, Alicent Hightower. Otto would later be removed from the role of Hand in 109 AC after persistently pushing the claims of Alicent's children via Viserys over his chosen heir, his daughter by his first wife, Emma Arryn, Princess Rhaenyra. He was replaced by Sir Lionel Strong, who had served well on the small council for many years as Master of Laws. By all accounts, Strong was, well, a strong Hand of the King, but rumours that his son, Harwin, was the true father of Princess Rhaenyra's children, plagued his time as Hand. Harwin was removed from court and sent back to Harrenhal, 
Lionel would travel with his son to settle him in. However, while at Harrenhal, both he and Harwin died in a fire under very suspicious circumstances, with foul play most likely. Lionel was hand between 109 and 120 AC. They say the hand dreams the king's dreams, speaks with the king's voice, and rules with the king's sword. Peter Baelish to Eddard Stark, a Game of Thrones Eddard 9. Otto Hightower was recalled to court and named hand again by King Viserys, where he would serve the king for the rest of his time on the Iron Throne, all while continuing to advocate for the rights of Viserys' children via his daughter Alicent, and Prince Aegon's right to the Iron Throne as firstborn son over Princess Rhaenyra. At the death of Viserys in 129 AC, Otto, along with the Green Council, would place Viserys' firstborn son, Aegon, on the Iron Throne over his chosen heir, his daughter Rhaenyra, thus starting the bloody Targaryen civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons. Otto would remain hand during the opening months of the dance, but would later be removed from the role by his grandson, King Aegon II, for his perceived inaction. Otto would later be killed during the fall of King's Landing in 130 AC when Rhaenyra took the city. However, before the fall of King's Landing, King Aegon II would name Lord Commander of his Kingsguard, Sir Criston Cole, as his hand, stating the following. My new hand is a steel fist. While Cole was never much of a politician, he was a respected warrior and would prove to be an effective commander during the war. If he was suited to the role is another question. He never really had time to rule as a normal hand would have done, but he was indeed a steel fist. Cole would also die in 130 AC during the Butcher's Ball in the Riverlands, and with that, there would not be an official hand of the king till the end of the Dance of the Dragons. However, it is worth noting that while Rhaenyra Targaryen is not recognised in the official annals of history as a ruling queen, she did name Corlys Velaryon as her hand, with the Sea Snake serving in that role till late 130 AC when he was arrested by Rhaenyra and accused of treason. He would go on to serve as one of the regents of King Aegon III till his death of old age in 132 AC. King Aegon III Targaryen would have seven different men serve as his hand. Given how turbulent his reign was, this number is not especially surprising, more so during his early reign in the wake of the Dance of the Dragons. His first hand in 131 AC was Lord Cregan Stark, who was only hand for a single day during what's become known as the Hour of the Wolf, where he dispensed his former justice against the traitors who were the culprits of the murder of King Aegon II. He was replaced by Sir Tylan Lannister, who was appointed by the Regency Council. Tylan did much work during his time as hand to mend the wounds of the Dance of the Dragons and stabilise the Seven Kingdoms. He was noted to be fiercely loyal to the boy king, despite the fact he had been a part of King Aegon II's Green Council and had been tortured and mutilated under the orders of King Aegon III's mother, Rhaenyra, during the dance. He died in office very suddenly during the Winter Fever of 133 AC. He was replaced by Lord Unwin Peak, whom at the time was also a member of the Regency Council and Lord Protector of the Realm, making Unwin at this time one of the most powerful men in Westeros. His time as hand is now infamous for him using his position for his own personal gain and power. His overconfidence would be his downfall. In 134 AC, during the Maiden Day's Ball to find a new wife for King Aegon III, Unwin would be angered that his daughter was rejected by the king and try and bluff his resignation as hand to get his way with the Regency Council, who had the ultimate power to decide the matter. However, the bluff backfired and they accepted Unwin's resignation. Unwin died sometime between 136 and 196 AC, but no published material have documented the latter part of his life as of yet. After Unwin resigned his hand in 134 AC, Thaddeus Rowan was named to the position of hand. It was soon rumoured that Lady Lara Roger, the wife of Prince Viserys Targaryen and her three brothers were truly in charge of the kingdom during what became known as the Lysine Spring. In 135 AC, Lord Thaddeus was accused of treason and being involved in a plot with House Roger. He was tortured for information and stripped of his position of hand. On day 12 of the secret siege of the Red Keep, Lord Thaddeus was brought before the king and Prince Viserys. His face was so bruised and swollen he was near unrecognisable and his speech so slurred he was thought to be drunk but it was because all his teeth had been knocked out of his mouth. He falsely confessed to the king 
and Prince Viserys in his involvement in the plot. It was soon clear to Viserys though that Lord Thaddeus had been broken by his experience when the cool fort Mushroom asked him if he had poisoned King Viserys I, to which Thaddeus said he had. After the secret siege ended and the royal conspirators were caught, Thaddeus was reinstated in his post as regent and handed the king, but it soon became clear he was no longer suited to the office. One moment he seemed his old self, the next he would burst into tears. Mushroom mocked him at times and once got him to confess to causing the doom of Illyria. King Egon politely dismissed him from the office and Grand Maester Munkin took the position of hand of the king for the remainder of that year. Lord Thaddeus vowed he would return once his health improved, only to die on his return journey back to Goldengrove. Thaddeus Rowan was hand between 134 and 135 AC. Sir Marsden Waters concurrently served as Lord Commander of the Kingsguard and Hand in 135 AC, in the gap between Rowan's removal and reinstallation. He participated in a plot to imprison Lord Thaddeus and members of the Rogar family present at the court, where he was then named Hand. But he later died a fortnight later, trying to arrest his sworn brother, Sir Mervyn Flowers. Grandmaster Munkin was served temporarily as Hand to early 136 AC, where a great council was called to name the new Hand, with Lord Torrin Manderley winning the vote. He had been a part of the Regency Council for Egon III since its formation in 131 AC and was well suited for the role. He would serve as Hand till King Egon III came of age at 16. Sir Ryan Redwine was the greatest knight of his day and one of the worst Hands that ever served the King. Set to Mermison's prayer, worked miracles, but as Hand, he soon had the whole realm praying for his death. Lord Butterwell was renowned for wit, Miles Smallwood for courage, Sir Otto Hightower for learning, yet they failed as Hand, every one. As for birth, the Dragon Kings often chose Hands from amongst their own blood, with the results as various as Bail or Breakspear and Magor the Cruel. Against this, you have Septon Bath, the blacksmith's son. The old king plucked him from the Red Keep's libraries. He gave the realm 40 years of peace and plenty. Read your histories, Lord Davos, and you will see that your doubts are groundless. Maester Pylos to Davos Seaware, a storm of swords. The next hand was the first chosen by King Egon III himself. His younger brother, Prince Viserys. It's not exactly clear when Viserys came to power as Hand, but he served his brother faithfully till Egon died in 157 AC. He would go on to serve his brother's children, King Daron I, the Young Dragon, from 157 till the Young Dragon's early death in the Sands of Dawn while at war in 161 AC. The Hand would also then serve Baelor the Blessed, the Septon King, to his death in 171 AC. He's remembered as a good Hand, excellent at the simple day-to-day -day running of the Seven Kingdoms. Viserys was said to be instrumental in keeping the realm intact while Egon brooded, Daron warred, and Baelor prayed. It was rumoured to spare the realm embarrassment, Viserys used his position as hand to order the poisoning of a stonemason whom Baelor had appointed as High Septon. When King Baelor died with no heirs in 171 AC, Viserys himself became king. While his reign was short, only a little longer than a year, Viserys issued reforms of the royal household and its functions, established a new royal mint, made effort to increase trade across the narrow sea, and made positive revisions to the already progressive code of laws established by King Jaehaerys I. It is believed that Viserys had it in him to be another Jaehaerys the Wise, as he was just as wise and shrewd. Unfortunately, a sudden illness led to his death in 172 AC. It seems that either the hand of the king during this time was not documented, or Viserys had no hand. Given his time as hand, he may have enjoyed the more mundane ruling of the realm, where other kings did not, and thus did not need a hand of the king. Now, before we continue, it does seem prudent to note that much of the information to follow, especially during the reign of King Egon IV, is vague, with some hands not even having clear start and end dates for their time in the role. This is because the information largely comes from the world of ice and fire, which is a lot more bare bones than fire and blood. I suspect much of the missing information should be filled in with Fire and Blood Volume 2, should that book ever come out. Viserys' eldest son, King Egon IV, 
would come to the throne at his father's death in 172 AC. Given Egon IV is known as the unworthy, goes a long way to suggest his choice of hands might also not be among the best men to wear the chain of office. His first hand was a Lord Bracken. Before he became hand, King Egon IV had become enthralled with Lord Bracken's daughter, Barbara, and she would later become his fifth mistress. She would be the mother of one of Egon's numerous bastard children. Egor Rivers, known as Bittersteel, who would play such a huge role in the Blackfire rebellions that plagued House Targaryen for generations. Arthur Barber was replaced as the king's mistress by Melissa Blackwood, Lord Bracken and Barber started grooming Lord Bracken's younger daughter, Bethany, to win the king's favour. In 177 AC, Bethany then did catch the king's eye, and he took her on as his seventh mistress. However, in 178 AC, she was caught abed with Sir Terence Tone, a knight of the king's guard. Both Bethany and Lord Bracken were executed. It's not 100% clear when Lord Bracken was removed as hand. Thus, at an unknown time, Bracken was replaced by Lord Butterwell. When King Egon IV Targaryen visited Butterwell's castle, he gifted him with a dragon egg in return for access to his three maiden daughters. According to tales, Egon impregnated all three girls the same night. It is not known when or why Butterwell was named Hand, but it is assumed it was for similar reasons as the gifted dragon egg. Oddly, we do not even know how long Butterwell was in office. Lord Davos Seaworth, the Hand of the King for Stannis Baratheon during the War of Five Kings, was concerned that he had risen too high from his humble origins. When Davos suggests that the Hand should be someone who was wiser, Maester Pylos reminds him that the known intelligent Butterwell was a prime example of an unsuccessful Hand. Butterwell was replaced in 178 AC by Sir Lucas Loston, notably husband of the king's mistress and father to a second of the king's mistresses. In 149 AC, Valena Stokeworth became the first mistress of the then Prince Egon Targaryen, making him a man when the prince was only 14 years of age. When a knight of the king's guard found them abed together in 151 AC, his father, the then Prince Viserys, desired to remove Felena from court at the King's Landing. Viserys arranged for Felena to marry Lucas and convinced King Egon III to gift Lucas with Harrenhal, as the previous holders of the castle, House Strong, had died out as a result of the Dance of the Dragons. The House Lothston became the sixth noble house to rule as Lords of Harrenhal. Felena gave birth to a daughter, Jane Lothston, in 164 AC. Although Prince Egon did not have any acknowledged children with Felena, some suspect Egon was Jane's father, and not Lucas. In 172 AC, Prince Egon succeeded to the Iron Throne as King Egon IV. Felena brought her 14-year-old daughter to court in 178 AC. The king took Jane as his eighth mistress and named Lord Lucas as Hand of the King. It's rumoured, but not proven, that King Egon slept with both mother and daughter together in the same bed. This possibly resulted in Lucas receiving the derogatory title, the Panda. However, Egon soon gave Jane a pox and Lucas was banished from court alongside his wife and daughter, having served the less than a year as Hand. Egon IV's last known Hand was Lord John Hightower. We have no idea when he became Hand or when his time in the role ended. In fact, we know next to nothing of him other than the fact he brought Sereni of Lys to court, with her becoming the final mistress of Egon and the mother to his bastard daughter, Shiera Seastar. Egon was succeeded by his son, King Daron II, with his choice of hand being Lord Ambrose Butterwell. It's not known when Butterwell became hand, but he did serve in the role to 196 AC. He had been master of coin under King Egon IV, before he was raised as hand by King Daron. We only know he was hand for a short time, but his ability to lead was questioned when his attempts to deal with the burgeoning Blackfyre Rebellion failed miserably. It was during the first Blackfyre Rebellion Butterwell attempted to keep one foot in each camp. He sent his eldest son to fight for King Daron II and his second son to fight for Daemon Blackfyre. Both of them died at the Battle of the Red Grass Field and his youngest son died of the Great Spring Sickness in 209 AC. He would be a key player in the now failed Second Blackfyre Rebellion, hosting the now infamous White Walls Wedding Tourney. Lord Hayford, who took over for Butterwell's hand in 196 AC, died soon after the Battle of the Red Grass Field that ended the First Blackfyre Rebellion. After this, the king's heir, Prince Baelor Breakspear, would then serve as hand from 196 to 209 AC. Sir Arlen of Pennytree is known to have had high regard for Baelor, 
who he considered chivalrous and wise, and by most account, he was a capable hand. When Baylor was killed accidentally by his brother Maker at the Ashford Tawney in 209, it's unclear who followed him as hand, but there is some suggestion that Baylor's son, Prince Valar, took on the role. Regardless, Valar too would die in 209 AC during the Great Spring Sickness, being replaced by Brendan Rivers, Blood Raven, one of the bastard sons of King Aegon IV and a key player during the first Blackfyre Rebellion on behalf of House Targaryen. It is assumed he was named Hand by King Aerys I, given that King Daron also died in 209 AC during the Spring Sickness. Blood Raven is among the most infamous hands of the king, feared by many. He was rumoured to be a sinister sorcerer and spymaster who effectively ruled the kingdom with spies and spells known as Lord Blood Raven. A popular riddle asked, how many eyes does Lord Blood Raven have? A thousand eyes and one. He served the hand to three kings, Aerys I, Makar I, and King Aegon V. He would be removed from his post and sent to the wall in 233 AC for the murder of Aenys Blackfyre during a great council. King Aegon V is known to have had a hand who served him between 233 and 259 AC. However, there is currently no record of who this man was. His successor, his son, King Jaehaerys II, named his first hand Lord Ormond Baratheon, with him serving from 259 to 260 AC. In the years prior, Ormond had married the youngest daughter of King Aegon V, Rhaella Targaryen, and that marriage would be how the future King Robert Baratheon would base his claim to the Iron Throne. When Jaehaerys decided to intervene militarily in the Stepstones to defeat the Band of Nine during the War of the Nine Penny Kings, Ormond was made commander of the expedition. He was one of the first to be killed, struck down by Maelie's the first Blackfire, and died in the arms of his son and heir, Stephen Baratheon. He was succeeded as hand by Edgar Sloane, who served until the death of King Jaehaerys II in 262 AC, where he was then retired from the role, along with most of the small council, by King Aerys II, who desired a younger set of advisors. King Aerys II's first hand was the young Lord Tywin Lannister, the youngest man ever to be named Hand of the King. Aerys and Tywin had been close friends since their youth, and thus the first few years of Aerys's reign would be prosperous. Tywin would go down in history as one of the best hands of the king to ever take the role, and under another king, you could have very well have been the Septon Bath to Jaehaerys. Tywin was hand between 262 and 281 AC. Over the years, King Aerys's behaviour had become more and more erratic, with the defiance of Duskendale breaking the king's mind further. He would forever be known as the Mad King. Aerys would start to mistrust his hand as men started to whisper that it was in fact Tywin Lannister who ruled the realm and not Aerys. After several slights, including declining a proposed marriage between Tywin's daughter Cersei and King's son Prince Rhaegar, and the naming of Jaime Lannister, Tywin's heir to the Kingsguard, Tywin would resign his post and return to Casterly Rock. In truth, Tywin was irreplaceable, but try Aerys did. A weak ruler needs a strong hand, as Aerys needed father. A strong ruler only requires a diligent servant to carry out his orders. Cersei Lannister to Jaime Lannister. A feast for crows, Jaime too. The aged Owen Merriweather was named the new hand. With Tywin gone from court, the new focus of Aerys's mistrust and paranoia was now his own son and heir, Rhaegar Targaryen. Prince of Dragonstone. Lord Merriweather and Grand Maester Pycelle did attempt to keep the peace between the factions loyal to the king and those loyal to Rhaegar. Owen proved ineffectual in preventing the uprising that became known as Robert's Rebellion and was removed from office and exiled in 282 AC. Aerys wanted a younger and vigorous man to be his next hand, and so named John Connington to the office, the Lord of Griffin's Roost. The new hand led an army into the field. After the Battle of Ashford, John took over the pursuit of Robert Baratheon from the Tyrell army and tracked him all the way to Stony Sept in the Riverlands. John was defeated at Stony Sept when Eddard Stark arrived with his Northmen in what became known as the Battle of the Bells. King Aerys held John responsible for the defeat at the Stony Sept and exiled him, stripping him of his titles, lands, and wealth. John was Hand of the King till 283 AC. The king would name Lord Charlton Chalstead Hand in his place. While Prince Rhaegar was busying marshalling an army, Khan was present 
during the king's systematic build-up and placement of wildfire throughout King's Landing, and the suspicious hand noticed the comings and goings of Bellis, Gargis, and Rosan of the Alchemist's Guild. After Carlton discovered Eris' wildfire plot to burn King's Landing to ashes should the rebels try and take the city, he attempted to prevent its execution. Lord Chalstead protested, pleaded with Ares not to do this, and he eventually resigned the position of hand when the king refused. Ares had him dipped in wildfire and burned alive. After the Battle of the Trident later that same year, the crushing blow for House Targaryen, Ares named his favourite pyromancer, Rosart, Hand, with him only serving for two weeks till he was killed in the sack King's Landing at the end of Robert's Rebellion. With Robert Baratheon now on the throne, he would name John Arryn, his former foster father, as Hand. John Arryn seemed a sensible choice and a good fit for the role, given how well he managed the early days of the rebellion. Some of the key things John did in his early days as Hand was make peace with Dawn after the rebellion, a difficult task given the fate of Rhaegar's queen, Elia Martell, and her children. He also brokered a marriage pact between Robert and Cersei Lannister, once again bringing Tywin Lannister back into the fold. John Arryn would serve Robert as Hand until 298 AC, where he suddenly died of a quick illness. However, there is much to suggest he was in fact poisoned for discovering the incestuous relationship between Queen Cersei and her twin brother Jaime, and the fact that Robert's children with Cersei were in fact Jamie's. Robert then named his foster brother and best friend Eddard Stark as Hand in John's place. While Eddard was an honourable man, he never really was suited to the dark arts of the Game of Thrones. When Eddard Stark learned of the secret John Arryn had died for, he confronted Cersei Lannister, a very poor political move. When King Robert suddenly died after a hunting accident, Eddard attempted a coup, naming Robert's younger brother Stannis Baratheon as the rightful king, declaring Robert's sons with Cersei were in fact the bastard sons of Jaime Lannister. However, Eddard Stark was executed and thus the War of Five Kings began. Now, some of these five kings did in fact name hands, such as Davos Seaworth for Stannis Baratheon. However, this video will focus just on the listed hands of the king to the ruling royal family. King Joffrey named his grandfather Tywin Lannister hand, making this the second time Tywin took the role. However, due to Tywin leading the Lannister army during the War of Five Kings, he named his second son Tyrion Lannister as acting hand. Tyrion was seen as well suited for the role and a very good hand in place of his father. He did much to prepare King's Landing for the Battle of the Blackwater. It is likely without Tyrion, the city would have fallen to Stannis Baratheon. Tyrion was badly injured during the battle, and once he awoke after several days, he found himself no longer acting hand, as his father had returned to King's Landing. Tywin would manage the War of Five Kings from the Red Keep. Some of his key political moves include the marriage of Tyrion Lannister to Sansa Stark, and the marriage pact between King Joffrey and Marjorie Tyrell, and the planning of the Red Wedding that effectively took out House Stark from the war. There were some negatives. The death of Joffrey at his own wedding meant that Marjorie then had to marry the new king, Joffrey's younger brother, Tommen. With Tyrion Lannister accused of the murder of Joffrey, Tywin then had to lead the trial of his son, with the trial in combat leading to another political fracturing with Dawn after the death death of Oberyn Martell, who was representing Tyrion. Tywin was later killed by his own son, Tyrion, as he escaped the Red Keep after the loss of his trial by combat in 300 AC. Over the next few months, three men would serve as Hand. Harris Swift is named Hand of the King by Queen Regent Cersei Lannister because he's a weak man whom Cersei could use as a hostage against her uncle, Sir Kevin Lannister. Harris is confused during the meetings of the small council, but after the death of Lord Giles Rosby, Cersei names Harris Lord Treasurer and replaces him as Hand with Orton Merriweather. But after Cersei is imprisoned by the Faith of the Seven, Orton resigns his position and he and his wife flee back to Longtable. Sir Kevin Lannister arrives in the city, is made Regent to King Tommen to placate House Tyrell following Cersei's accusations to the High Septon that Queen Marjorie had been adulterous, leading to her arrest. Kevin names Mace Tyrell as Hand of the King. He is currently the Hand of the King as of A Dance with Dragons. Now, we have looked at each hand and their fate, and we can now make an assessment as to how dangerous the role truly is. If you include Tyrion Lannister as acting Hand, 51 men served as Hand of the King. Out of those 51 men, 21 would die in office. So four 41% of hands died while wearing the chain. However, some of those men did die of old age or legitimate illnesses, 
not related to being Hand of the King. If we take those men out of the equation, that leaves us 16 men, meaning 31% of Hands died because they were in the role of Hand. Now, if you ask me, that's actually quite a very high chance of death if you take on the role of Hand, either by political assassination, such as poisoning, being killed as punishment, or dying in battle. Failing or making a mistake as Hand is certainly not advised. But death is not the only damage being Hand can cause. There are men such as Owen Merriweather, John Connington, Lucas Lothston, whose lives were practically destroyed, either via exile or in some cases the complete destruction of their houses. Plus, we have men such as Oris Baratheon, who was so badly wounded while hand, it effectively changed the course of the rest of his life. And of course, Thaddeus Rowan, who was tortured so brutally it basically killed him. If we factor men like this into our number, it takes us back up to 21 men and a 41% rate of death serious injury or punishment. Still, not great odds. What can we take away from this? Well, it is very clear that a powerful role such as Hand of the King will attract people to it with its power, but being in that position of power will put you at risk. You may be assassinated, executed or killed during a war. However, when you do look at these men who suffered loss or died during the role, there are two common threads. This was either during a time of war, such as the Dance of the Dragons or Robert's Rebellion, or during the reigns of time kings such as Aegon the Fourth or Maegor the Cruel. So your fate as a hand really does depend on who the king is you are serving. While the death rate is between 31 and 41 percent, with the right king I think that risk is a lot lower. But one thing is for sure, if you wear the hand's chain of office you must watch your back and expect there is a likelihood that this job will be your undoing.